is Angie. Today I'm organizing my closet, getting ready for spring and summer. I'll be taking out some spring and summer clothes. I'm starting to put back all my heavy winter clothes back in the storage so I think why not share with you guys how I take care of my winter clothes I think I'm gonna put this pocket jacket back in the storage because it's not that cold right now it's a little bit chilly so I will keep this jacket it's like blazer thing like this it's not too heavy it's not too long I'll be wearing them for at least a month from now on before it gets really warm here in Virginia so today I'm gonna share with you guys how how I clean three different type of my winter clothes the first one is just a regular sweater and the next one is wool coat and the last one is very heavy this is parka jacket that I just got this year it's very warm it's a little bit pricey but I really like it because it keep me warm in the winter I got them when they're on sale so I picked up two color in black and also in this color is like stone white color I'll link it down below if it's still available the wool coat usually comes with quite scary care instruction like it says don't wash okay so for my sweater if you've been wearing your sweater for a while and then you started to see some lint balls like this what I would do before I wash them in the washing machine I try to remove these balls so I either use a comb like this or razor this is quite small because it's the razor for my eyebrows it's small so it's easier to just like this just start to do this so the ball started to come out like this Usually I wash my sweater quite often. I've heard for some people they wash it just like a couple times during the season. But for me, I like to wash my sweater like once a week, I think. So I'm done removing some extra lint from my sweater. Next, I'm going to put it in the washing machine. What I usually do in one load, I put only one sweater in it because I think it's more gentle for your clothes and I don't want any extra lint from other sweater get onto this sweater so I do only one sweater each load and I do the same with my wool coat my winter jacket just one piece each load I'm using just a small amount of my regular detergent but if you have a special detergent go ahead and use it so I use just a tiny bit of the detergent and no softener. I don't use too many products for my winter clothes. Things to remember that you always wash your winter clothes in cold water. And I'll just use the speed wash because it takes like about 15 minutes. So I change it to tap cold water. Spin low so it will be only 14 minutes for the whole cycle because i don't want to put my winter clothes in the washing machine too long i think it might be too much for my clothes Just put start okay now turn it on for like 15 to 20 minutes so i just took my sweater out from the dryer i dried it with low heat for like 30 minutes and then i would lay it flat like this it's almost completely dry so i'm gonna lay it flat like this maybe overnight before i put it in the storage and i'm not gonna hang my sweater when i store them i'm just gonna fold them and then put in the storage so that way they don't lose their shape next is my wool coat uh, for wool coat i usually wash it twice i take it out from the storage um, getting ready for the winter so i wash it after it sits in the storage for a long long time and i wash it again at the end of winter like this time i wash it before i put it in the storage 
So during the season, I usually don't wash if it didn't get really dirty. If it got just like a small spot of the stain, I would just do spot cleaning, which I mix my liquid detergent with warm water and I use a cloth like this with the detergent and rub on the spot that you want to clean. Then you rub it with just warm water and that's pretty much how I clean it during the season and if I want my coat to feel fresh like fresh wash coat I would just put it in the dryer and dry it for like 20 minutes or so and for all winter clothes that I usually wash it by myself at home I only use the detergent and I use just a tiny bit because I don't want it to be too much I just use only detergent alone no softener I just took my coat out from the washing machine and it still looks good. Nothing's damaging. For drying process, I used low heat for 20 minutes and then another 20 minutes in just regular air, no heat. And for your jacket, if you have any for part that you can remove, you have to remove it before you put your jacket in the washing machine. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the fur. Remove it like this. And you can just clean this part separately. Just damp your cloth and wipe it like this. I think it's good enough. And for the jacket, you have to make sure that you zip up every part of your jacket to avoid the zip scratching other part of your jacket Button. to make sure everything's covered and if it got some dirty spot you can do spot cleaning before you put your jacket in the washing machine as well for my winter jacket i usually wash them twice in one season as well So I'm done washing my coat and my jacket. I'm gonna hang them for a while before I put them in the storage. Uh, maybe I hang them for like overnight and the next day I'll put them in the storage. The coat and jacket, I'll just hang them like this and put in the storage or another closet. You want to make sure that your hanger is a good shape because when you hang your coat for like a year, it might get kind of weird bubble shape on the shoulder like this. So better think about the shape of your hanger as well. And the sweater, I'm just gonna fold it and just put it in the storage. I don't hang my sweater because they can lose their shape if I hang them too long. i rather just fold them and then put in the storage. I made a mistake before with one of my first winter jacket because I used regular heat to dry my jacket and I didn't remove the fur part so it's gonna shrink down my fur like this then I have to remove this and wear my jacket without this fur but that's okay, I still have my jacket I'm sharing this with you guys so you don't have to make a mistake like me Thank you so much for watching this video I hope this video is helpful for you guys and I'll see you guys again in the next video Bye!